All right, guys, so we're here at the shop. We're just about to leave. Me and Sam are going down north to look at this HQ Holden sedan. So it popped up. I'm like, you know what? Let's make something cool. And I've seen a deal, obviously, with Wheel and Tire Kingdom. They were selling some GDS wheels. So I thought, what better time? We'll buy the wheels and we'll go see if we can buy a car to suit the wheels. Let's go, let's go. Apparently, it runs and drives, but then it needs a trailer to pick it up. But I've sort of said, no, nah, let's take wheels, let's take grinders, let's take tools, and let's um, let's see if we can drive this thing home. So we're going in the truck and with some basic tools. So I just got to get some petrol, actually. We'll take this, just in case. Fucking Jesus Christ. All right, let's go. Oh, fuck no, no. Right, there we go, ready to go. Not the other side. We're good. Yeah. You were joking. We're good. Brake lights. Dark and lights. Yep. You got a screwdriver, Jamie? Yeah, I have. So we're just taking the thermostat off now. We're gonna have to get a gas. We know what So, what have you got in the VL? Oh, LS. LS1 in that one. Okay. Nice. So, that's a bit of. We just cleaned out the thermostat, all that sort of stuff. Good fella here. Has some gasket material, so let's get that on the car. Put a new gasket on this. See if we can get it run and dry. Yeah. And he lost it. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, it's all fixed up now. We're ready to rock and roll. Samuel's the mechanic. What do you reckon? Is it going to run? I reckon it's going to run. <laughs> it's going to be a screamer. Absolute. <laughs> Here we go. Let's it's see. Leaking. Where? To the workshop. Let's drive it. Gonna... Temp gauge. It's got a leak. Will we make case, it? If the fuel pump doesn't work with the line, we'll just start your bastard from here. And just... I don't have that much. I've got like, nothing left in the can. Alright, done. Let's get this on the road. Your feet are going to go through the car. This is a good car. Oh yeah, this is a good car. Mm -hmm. It's driving. <laughs> that is Ripper. You did a killer job of that. That's good. That's beautiful. Sam, see if you can get around the block. That's fantastic. I'm gonna calm down. What? It's alright when you get it in drive, just put your foot... I didn't even touch it then. You are fucking useless. I didn't even touch it then. He's fucking useless. The car doesn't like me. You don't know what you're doing. Touch it. What? Touch it. <laughs> you're joking. <laughs> all right here we are in the truck we're gonna follow sam we're gonna see how far we can get see if we can get home let's do this love the missions let's do it <laughs> there it is indicators and everything mate here we are <laughs> Oh, fucking here we are again. How are we gonna cook it? It seems to get warm, this car. It's sitting warm, the water pump's leaking. Uh, let's see, we're gonna go to the servo, get some fuel, maybe put some air in that tire. Get some water, see how we go. All right, didn't make it that far, flat tire. We're gonna quickly change the wheels and let's do it again. Gonna have a fit, you reckon? Hey, come on, toys. What if you? What are you doing to me? <laughs> this thing's fucked, man. <laughs> doing quick changes. Should we lower it here? No. Yes, come. I reckon lowering it right here will be right. I got the grinder in the car. I just want to get. Let's get the tires on anyway. 
fresh wheels. Fuck in my goods. Can't see with the glass on either. Get out of the way, Lemon. Fancy new wheel nuts. Takes the wheel and tire kingdom, ding dong. Help put the power down with them. It's, not, it's, not, it's gonna grip up. It's, it's the grip set. <laughs> it's got the grip on it now. It's got the grip set up. Fuck that. Legina. Pulsar tires, number one. We made it to the servo. Start them up, I'm skipping, not wanting to accelerate. 91. Someone man. put 10 bucks in this thing last. Let's fill this dog up. So first stop, we made it down the road. We got to 215, 220. Oh, she's full. And um, we just pulled over. She's all right. Yeah, I think just the water pump might be rusted out inside. So yeah, maybe the water pump's rusted out inside. We're just taking it easy on the way back because I don't want to damage it. It's beautiful. It's running nice. It's cleared itself up sexy. We're ready to rock and roll again. Hey, watch, watch the glass. Watch the Juco. That's beautiful. So I decided, well, I don't think we're going to paint the car. We're just going to pull that dent out, lower it, make it run and drive killer. This is going to be pretty cool. Believe it or not, this will work. We've got to fix the hole in the floor. Boy, this thing drives better than everyone else. I'm overtaking people. <laughs> How good. Adventures, eh? This is the fun of it, eh? Just, just running the muck, trying to get home. What? Exactly unlike the road strips I can see. Ha <laughs> You can see through the floor? My foot's on the ground. <laughs> What are you doing to me? What's going on, boy? <laughs> <laughs> what is this? <laughs> Wait, Gary, dead set. Open all the doors and stuff. Opens killer. I can see already. No, this open, is, close the doors. Dead this set. Is a, this is a fully air conditioned. Now watch, Gary, watch. <clears throat> watch. Look, ready? The best. Ready? Is that the selling point? Nah, he literally said to us, he's like, I'm not trying to sell it to you. Uh, I like the wheels. I brought those today, they were on sale. $125 way. each for the rims. Very nice. We had a flat tire on the way home. I got the fronts in the truck. What's going on, Jay? <laughs> <laughs> All right, first drive. Boys, we on. Oh. The footrest is a bit hard, but here we are. Fucking brakes are better than the F truck. <laughs> this is gonna be good. I love it. The good, eh? I love it. What do you reckon, Gaz? <laughs> yeah, the Gaz. <laughs> it does. Look at that Mala. That's luscious. The Holden jacket as well. He's come prepared for this. He didn't even know what was going on. He's not. Oh! <laughs> 
Oh, yes! Yes! Gary's fucking fanging it. God, you can get the water. He would have got the water there. <laughs> oh, <I love> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, the gas. All right, so we just put the car in the hoist. Um, Gary's here with us, always helping out with some good advice. Now, the old me would just cut the shot, cut the spring in half, and just send it, and just is what it is. But Gary's like Commodore Springs in a HQ. All you got to do is open up this locating isla a little bit, like that, and these will be a lot, a lot lower spring, but still retain a spring. You know what I mean? So we'll cut a bit of this off. Both sides, chuck these springs in, see how it goes. And we'll cut a coil and a half out the front. And if it's still not low enough, cut them in half. Oh, yeah. This is how the professionals do it. Here he is. <laughs> yeah. See? All right, out, boom. Let's get those out. Mud flaps off. Now, as much as Sam can bitch and moan and say that mud flaps are cool, they're not. Take them off. Just try it in the head of um, Fucking watch the fucking jeweler. Oh, Go yeah. In. Yeah, for sure. Goes in. Bottom one, no. Oh, a little bit more. Take right. a little bit. You can see the difference, but there is actually a massive difference in those springs, so we should see some Let's good. Let's see if they even do anything. Well, if we can always cut the bump stops. That's going to be interesting. I'd like to have this car in a fleet no, because it's so car. original and clean. Yeah, you've got thumbs up all the way. Wait, some cop was taking a photo of me though. Yeah. Probably report you. In disbelief. No, didn't you see him? The guy I was pointing to. Pit stop. Pit stop. Yeah, yeah, moment of truth. I reckon she's gonna look hot. Is that it? Nah. That needs to be way lower. No. No, that one's not in for sure. Yeah. Party. We just uh, pulled the springs out. We cut the springs in the car and then we had to pull them out just because they're all binded up. And uh, Gary brought this little tool that he made at home using a bottle jack that he pulled apart that pulls the spring up, compresses it. And now just putting the shocks back in and we'll finally put it on the ground and it should be a good height. Let's do it. More. Bit more. I don't think they're located. Shit. Check that out. How much better does that look? Gary's doing a little sports tune up on it. The magician. So cool. How cool. There you go, HQ. Wouldn't read about it. So good. Just like that. I drive that, man. I drive it. It's cool. For a shittest patina colour, it is turned out wicked. 
<laughs> Even with a ding in the in the side. Yeah, the boys. Cool curious. Here we are. We got the thermostat, water pump. Beautiful. So here at Auto Pro with the boys, always looking us after. Mike, being lazy. Dim always doing the work. <laughs> All right, so it's a new day here. Um, just pulled the HQ outside just to check it out, and damn, it's killer. So I ended up um, lowering the rear just a little bit more because it was a little bit too jacked for my like at the rear. Now it sits level. Um, just before we bring it in to change the water pump, we'll give you a little pan around and see what we're working with. Keep in mind, I still got to clean the windows, so that'll make a big difference. Right, so here we are, Friday afternoon. All we're going to do is quickly change the thermostat housing and the water pump on this car real quick. And um, I think while we're at it, we're going to just quickly give the bay a little bit of a razz up. So um, clean some hoses up, maybe give the, uh, the wheel tubs, firewall, rad support, a little scuff, a bit of GMH black around the place, tidy it up a little bit and... Um, Maybe some electrical tape over some of the looms as well. Um, let's get it. Hopefully then, after that, she should be, um, apart from a few little, few little fuel leaks, it should be pretty uh, ready to cruise. So let's see how we go. So. All right, so we just pulled this apart and um, here's the water pump. So that's pretty, pretty rusted in there. Those spins don't look too good. It's gonna really struggle to spin. And also, these corrode and eat away. So we put the hose clamp on, it's not getting a nice seal. Same as this, corroded. And even where the gasket goes, it's obviously not gonna be an even surface, so that's no good. So it's gonna really struggle to seal. So what I'll do, I'll get a razor blade, I'll clean up all the edges, degrease a bit of the engine there, get the new parts, and put it back together. All right, so I've just done a quick little dodgy mask up on the engine while the water pumps off. Um, I'm just gonna spray some two-pack over the top of the red, just dust it in a little bit, not to try and paint the engine, just to try and lift up the red, you know what I mean? Just spray it over, get a bit of spray around the place, bring up the red a little bit, and then we'll go over the black. Um, this is not a restoration, it just makes it a little bit more catch to the eye. So and with the red, I literally got some colors that I found in the paint area, mixed them up and just, just sent it. So let's get that done. Now that might not look like much what we've just done, but I'll show you a few things. Now I've blown the red on it. But you can see just a little bit of coverage so you can still see all the scratches and all the imperfections over it. But what it's done is it's just brightened up that red. Instead of being a real faded red, it's almost appears like it's wet. That's all I want, you know what I mean? Just to have a little bit more color happening. One mask that, and we'll put a bit of cast iron on a few bits, bolt the new thermostat housing on, water pump. Let's get it.
All right, boom, they're on. Ready to rock and roll. But before we put the hoses and shit on the bay, what we're gonna do is my favorite. I've got a bit of gun wash here. Gun wash, some rags. And what I'm gonna do is go over all these crusty fucking lines and electrical, gun wash them, get them up fresh. And then we'll tape some of the loom. We'll start putting it together. Let's go. Watch the difference from here to when we're done next. And there we are, um, water pump on, hoses on, all that sort of stuff. I blew a little bit of GMH black on the skirts, just roughly, and just to clean it up, so far happy with that. So already a little bit of a transformation. It's just gonna make it a little bit neater, a little bit nicer, a little bit better to work on. And there's probably like that. <laughs> <laughs> there it is, boom. Restored. <laughs> Look at the fucking filth on it. All right, chuck some of this in there. Ah. Oh. There we go. Running, fucking ready to rock and roll. Killer, I'm super happy with this. Let's take it up down the street. Here we are. Let's rock and roll. Ah. I'll go up and Sounds like it's turbo. Or <laughs> well, supercharge, the one. <laughs> So we just got back from the test drive. Turns out, sidewall's a bit how you going now. Or have I just been doing fat skids? We don't know. Skids on the fucking sidewall. But we'll have to do a little bit of a guard roll. And I think we ran out of fuel as well. So, killer. Let's get into it. Let's do the next thing. I don't know what we're gonna do next. Are we on? Yeah. All right, so it's Saturday now. Um, what I'm doing real quick, we decided we might even take this out for a cruise today. So we've got to fix this door. Obviously there's a fat dent in it. So I'm going to pull the door card off and I don't have a, a football or anything, but we're just, just going to try and just kick it out from the inside, see if we can get this dent somewhat better. Um, just pulling the door card off now. We'll see how we go, clean the windows. And I think we're going out for a little, little spin in the QE. Check out maybe a fully sick meat. We'll see how we go. Here we are guys, we're out cruising in the HQ. Um, ripper day, we're out with Luke behind us in his, in his HQ and DJ and um, Philip in the HZ in front of us. Um, just cruising out in Lewiston. Damn, this thing drives all right. Surprisingly, apart from the a bloody hole in the floor, <laughs> it's not bad.
here we are, just sussing DJ's new house apparently. Look at this, Luke's is a much cleaner example, but look at this, we made it like, I don't know how long, probably 40 minute drive, no dramas. You fucking joking. One legged Phil was over there. Look at them, a couple of kiwis. Just shows you how quick you can get in and drive them. All right, so the next step of this quick little build is interior tidy up. All right, so I'll show you real quick what the interior looks like now. And um, we'll get into pulling it apart. We'll fix the hole in the floor. I'll show you a few little quick tips that I like to do just to tidy up, not to hide, but just to tidy up what's there. Um, just to make it so when you get in the car, it feels a lot more inviting, you're a lot more comfortable in the car, even though it's still rough. All right, let's have a look. So obviously, fix that. There's a rip here. Floor's all torn up, all vinyl. The door cards are actually in not too bad, Nick. Top of that seat's a bit shit, so we'll put a, a nice period correct blanket over there. Same as on the bottom of the front. We gotta tidy up the best we can these door cards. Just clean it, make it a little bit better. All right. We've also, Gary, had a spare rear bar at his place, so we're gonna chuck that on there. Is that one stoved? And we've got a secondhand carpet over there as well. Just because it's close to Christmas, that's all I could get my hands on right now. And obviously we pulled that dent out a little bit. Not too much, just a little bit. But yeah, that's, that's no good, isn't it? Alright, let's see what we can do. Holy shit, so that just fight me. Old rusty stuff, man, it's a mission to remove. But got the seats out, um, sitting here, one piece. Now what I'm gonna do is rip all this old vinyl floor out of the car, all the underliner, vacuum it, clean it up, and we'll see where we're at. Let's get it. All right, so we're just pulling the interior part still, um, doing the scuff panels down the jams. I'm gonna show you a quick tip. Um, you might already know it, but little wild card and generally it always works. So all these screws here, along here, they're usually fucking stuck and you go to undo them and they round the head. So what you wanna do is put a screwdriver in there and give it a whack with a hammer. So I've got a hammer here, give it a whack first, Maybe one, two, three, whatever. A good fucking hit, right? One, it's gonna get all the dirt out of that, that head of the screw. And two, it's gonna like shock all the rust on the, on the actual thread and make it so it's much easier to undo those. So I did it all the other side, got every single screw out, no worries. So good tip, um, it is gonna save you a lot of hassles.
All right, so we're gonna call it a night. That's done. Quick little floor pan repair, nothing special. Um, nothing crazy, just roughly on there, overlapped, you know, not butt welded up, but that's gonna get this over the line so we can put carpet in, your feet aren't falling through the floor, and um, it definitely looks neat. It's gonna look neat from underneath, neat from the top. That's done, so now we'll start moving forward. Tomorrow I'm gonna come in, quick wire wheel of all the floor, probably lay a bit of edge primer on. Uh, I'm not worrying about any little pinholes. That's where I'm drawing the line on this job. Um, by no means is it restoration or rust repair or anything like that. It's just a, a clean up, get it on the road, <laughs> have a bit of fun. Um, so yeah, then we'll start putting the underlay in, cleaning, do something with the carpet we have, start putting things back together. All right, five minutes into the day, the shed's already a mess, um, shit's everywhere. So, floor sorted. Next, we've got some under, underliner, whatever you want to call it. Um, I've got this piece here from the Commodore build, Gary just pointed out. We might try and fit this in the car. It saves getting a new piece. But if you're wondering, you can buy this from a place called Dailies. Pretty good, comes in a roll, get whatever you want. Just a good sound deadener. Obviously not as good as Dynamat, but also has its perks. Um, let's chuck that in the car and then start playing with some carpets. Lucky, the VL underlay fits in the car pretty killer. I got to, had to trim a few things. The sides up a little bit, but overall, perfect. So I think the saving grace was the tunnel and the VL was so big because they actually have a smaller floor, plan, floor pan. So it's all in here. It's obviously got the cutouts for the shifter and the VL. That's sitting there nicely. What I was using was a bit of this um, contact adhesive aerosol spray just around the corners to tuck it all down, hold it down nicely. Fantastic stuff. This is a bit pricey, this stuff, but well worth it. Um, so now I'm going to try and fit this carpet in, see how that fits. If not, Gary's brought down an old HQ carpet that we could make work. So we'll see what we can come up with. You wouldn't read about it. The carpet fits just sort of, mm, kind of. Anyway, it's in there. It looks a bit dirty, but that will clean up killer. It's a bit rough around the back, but I'm gonna use some of that contact adhesive spray and glue it down. Obviously there's a split for the console, but I reckon I can make that pretty neat. And you gotta remember there's a bench seat that's going in this, so a lot of it's gonna be covered. But we'll see how we go now, let's glue it down. Here at Daly's now, just picked up some off cut material. Um, always look at the off cuts, I've got four meters, 50 bucks of some black vinyl. So, we're going to do that to the parcel shelf and the kick panels. Also, got some more glue. Let's get back to the shop and finish that carpet. Let's go. All right, check that out. We somewhat got a carpet in there. Now, that looks like shit right now but just bear with me, all right? Bear with me, because I promise you, I'll make that look a million bucks. Um, I've had to cut it in the middle, and I'm probably gonna recut it down the middle and butt up the two joins and glue it, or let that just sit in there and take a little bit of its shape, you know what I mean? So it's stretched out in there and right. Um, we'll probably put a few things on, put the scuff panels in that are gonna hold the carpet in place, and then we'll probably slice it down the middle, clean that joint up, um, vacuum the carpet, and trust me, that's gonna look nice. As soon as that seat's bolted in, 100 times better. But next, I've got some um, MDM, MDF board, I think it's called. I picked this up from Bunnings, this was $18. So what I'm gonna do now, is I'm gonna measure up the parcel shelf, um, cut a piece to match that, right? Now usually you'd wanna just trace your old one, but the old one didn't come out in one piece. So I'm gonna get the tape measure, measure it up. Um, then we're gonna get this roll of vinyl that I just picked up from Dailies, black vinyl, a bit more of the contact adhesive spray, vinyl, 
boom, stick the vinyl in, put the parcel shelf in. All right, super cheap, easy. Doesn't matter what car it is, you can do this for. So, little cheat. And then we're also gonna make up some kick panels using the MDF, cover them in the black. Then we're gonna go through the car, clean it, start putting it together, all right? You're about to see it start coming together. All right, let's do it. So first, tape measure, measure that parcel shelf up. Check it out. That's in there nice. All right, next step is the kick panels. Now, luckily we have that shitter in the corner and I've gone and got a festy kick panel out. So we're gonna trace this, flip it over, trace another one, and that should be what we need. Look at that, it's fucking nasty. But yeah, that's all That's all they are, nothing special. So there's no point going paying 50, 60 bucks for one of these when you can buy a whole sheet, make your fucking parcel shelf, both kick panels, everything you got. 100 bucks. Or less than a hundred bucks. Let's say a hundred bucks in the glue with the MDF, the vinyl, the glue. You're gonna do a lot of little bits and pieces for your car. Little tips and tricks with Jake. All right, so just finished making up these two um, kick paddles in the MDF. Made up the parcel shelf. Now we're just gonna get some of this vinyl, cut it out roughly. The contact adhesive spray on the top, wrap it around. All right, let's do it. I don't know if they are. Well, and they bite you. All right, so what I'm doing real quick is cleaning up the door jams just with some heavy duty cleaner. Um, just going around here with the microfiber, getting all this dust out, the dirt out, um, cleaning up all the pinch weld, everything I can. Um, you might think it's a bit pointless when a car looks like this, but even when a car is this bad, it does make a significant de uh, difference when it is clean you know what i mean so we'll go around clean up all this pinch weld real nice then put these scuff plates back in painted them with a bit of cast iron and you can see it's coming together so we'll continue all right so what i've done here is me and Caitlin just popped down to Midwest Trader on Rundle Street in the city and um, they sell these nice Mexican style blankets here. Um, they, uh, they span wide enough to go over a seat. I just think they're real period correct. So what we're gonna do is obviously the top of this seat has some rips. So what I'm gonna do is put this blanket over the top of the seat tuck it in behind the seat, right? Put a little bit of contact adhesive underneath of it to hold it in place roughly. Um, and then that's gonna be basically covering the rips and it looks period correct. So this is something that maybe the nunas would have had or your grandparents would have had just sitting on the car, on the seats back in the day. I think it's sort of era correct. Um, and it's gonna cover it, make it look a lot more neater in the car. And um, we're gonna get onto it. Just a little wild card. It still might not work, but I'm hoping it does, so let's get it. There we go. Well done. To be able to unplug it to get it through. Ha <laughs> <laughs>
I thought something fell off the bar. I've got thongs on. I'm like, what the fuck's this? What are these guys doing to me? All right, so we've got the seat in now. That's looking super killer. Couldn't be any more happy with that, how that's turned out. Same as the rear. So now what I'm doing is I've got a little brush brush here. Um, some of this heavy duty multi-purpose cleaner. So we're just gonna spray it everywhere. Get it everywhere, get it in all the grooves. Go around it with a brush. Try and get in all those um, little creases in the door card. We're gonna clean everything up the best we can. All right, that's the trick. Clean, 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 clean. And it's gonna start coming up real nice, just like that. All right, so I've just quickly masked up the um, the dash face here real quick. So what I'm gonna do, spray a bit of GMH black under here, just clean up these edges, clean up around here, um, just under here where it's a bit faded. The pillars, um, just do a little clean up. Spray a bit in the column here, and it's gonna change that look of that car a little bit more. Way better. Way better. So I'm puffed. It's been a it's been a big effort, but I've just finished cleaning the car. Now, like I said, detail, 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 detail. I've gone crazy with the heavy duty cleansers, the leather cleaners, the vacuum, bit of GMH black here and there, and damn, it has come up killer. So I'll chuck a little montage in in a minute, but as you can see, check that out. Same car. Just completely different look. Now that looks inviting, super nice. You know what I mean? You're gonna jump in the car, you're not gonna have a problem. Hide all the nasties. <laughs> and fantastic, it's just, it's super cool now, you know what I mean? It's just little changes, but they've made a massive difference. And just seeing that nice interior in the car, or just emphasizing the good bits, and sort of covering up some of the bad bits, has made a complete difference to this car. So done that, and just looking at it, it changes your opinion on it. So I've just quickly tie shined the wheels, clean the rims up, um, clean the glass. I'm so wrapped, you know, I can't stop looking at this car, seriously, it's so cool. So 
That's Ripper. Also, Gary's come down, helped us out for a little bit, gave us some of his time, pulled the bar off and put this other bar on that he donated. Now, I didn't think it was going to make that much of a difference seeing it off the car, but with this new bar on the car, holy shit, it's a massive difference. It just emphasizes the shape. He also cleaned up some of the wiring in the back so all the tail lights are working as they should be, plus the number plate light. So no more stove job. Um, my missus, Caitlin, she did a ripper job. She uh, actually had a crack of um, covering the parcel shelf in the vinyl we picked up, so done that. She gave me a hand last night with the interior bits and pieces, so super happy. Now what I'm going to do is pull it outside. We'll take some videos, take some photos, because this actually will be on the market. Um, so I'll be up for grabs probably before this video is out. So there you go. Super cool. Well, that's a wrap. You've seen what we've done. It's been a big week, exciting week. I actually secretly sort of love the car. Maybe even more than my VL. Um, heaps of fun. I think uh, at the end of the day, what you've just seen, it shows that you can get a car. You don't have to pay top dollar for it. It doesn't have to be pain. It doesn't have to have this. You can make the best of what you have and get on the road, have some good times, have a laugh. You know what I mean? and make something cool. You know, it's not all about spending the big coin, having the big engine, the big paint job, all that sort of stuff. It's all, um, it's it's just about making something cool, having, having a bit of fun along the way. So I hope you guys picked up a few uh, pointers and all that sort of stuff. Uh, but that's it for this week. Uh, I'll get this video out as soon as I can. Um, also, my mate Jacob Bleach from uh, JB mm, Fabrication or something. I'll probably put a little link in there or something. He's coming down right now to to actually buy this car off me so hopefully he enjoys it just as much as i have um i think he might have some plans for the car we'll, we'll ask him when he gets here so thank you thanks for watching appreciate it